Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import any of the iClone 7 avatar into Unreal Engine 5 without the iClone Unreal Live link. So the first step, what you need to do is you scroll down, go to my video descriptions and go and download the open open a post Unreal Engine 4.rl motion. This is the motion file that compulsory to use before we start. Go and download this. This is the RL motion file. As demo after I download it, it is the A post and I put it on my desktop. And next step, I open my, my iClone and I will go and open a, an avatar here. I click here. I go and drag out an avatar of G5, for example, G5. I drag out a girl. In order to export it out, you need to Click here and click Edit in 3D Exchange. Once you're already in 3D Exchange 7, you need to drag this down and make sure you delete all. And also here you have to delete all. Make sure everything clear and empty these two columns. This is the animation. Next. I go to my desktop to drag in the open A Unreal Engine 4. Okay, drag in. Next, click here and then click Add All to Perform and make sure that it is already here. Click it. Next, as demo, I will export it as OBJ file first. I will open a new folder on my desktop. And I will name this folder girl01. I enter this folder. I copy the destination location of this folder, Control C to copy. And I back to the 3D Exchange 7. Export as OBJ file it's here. Then I delete everything here, destinations, and I press Control V to paste here. The file name, I will name it as girl01. Make sure you tick the, the number 2 and the rest or make it empty and click OK. Alright, this is the first step. First step, you export it out as OBJ file to eliminate all of the skeletons. Next, drag in the OBJ into 3D Exchange and click No. Once you import the OBJ file, you export it as FBX file again. Now what we need is an FBX file with no skeleton, no rigs, no bones. The target tool presets, we choose the Maya. And then I copy this file destination, Control C. This is the location of the folder and paste here, Control V. The file name is girl01, so I click OK. I click OK. Now you can see the FBX file is here. If you cannot differentiate which one is OBJ file, which one is the OBJ, which one is the FBX, you have to click view, click here to, to enter the options and click view. Make sure you untick high extension for known file type and click OK. So that you, you should be able to see FBX or OBJ. This is very important. Next. You can close the 3D exchange already. Go to the Autodesk Maya. This is Autodesk Maya 2019. What you are going to do is you scroll until you can see here. Back to the folder, the girl zero ones. Drag in the FBX file that you exported from 3D exchange. Drag into the center of the Maya. and wait for a while now. Click here to turn on the texture. And then what you are going to do is to add a bone, add a skeleton, select everything in this way. Now, you should click here to, to make sure you can see the outliner. Once you select everything, all the meshes are selected. 
then you click rigging click here click step by step click plus and here you click plus next click create here now you can see it all points to a certain certain area already now we are going to make all this point perfect you select it and then press W to make sure you put at the correct position and then you click here to make sure it apply to another side this is symmetry and what about this you make it here then make it symmetry to another side next one next one are these four points click the selection tool and you select select these four points and press W to make it up a little bit here next everything should be okay already click create and wait for a while click create and update again here all right now what we are going to do is export this out click file export all I will export at the same folder here so, so I will copy the folder destination Control C to copy next I come back to the Maya and delete the original destination I press backspace to delete it and Control V to paste here and, and remember to press enter once you press enter here you name it girl01 and you add another name that's Maya Rick so that you will know that this file is already fully rigged in Maya and you click export all once you click export all you should be able to see your girl01 Maya Rick here next you already can import into your Unreal Engine 5 as demo I will open my Unreal Engine 5 editor as demo I will create a new game create a new third person game and I will name name it as iClone 7 to Unreal Engine 5 demo then I click create once you click create you have to wait for a while the Unreal Engine 5 is creating a new game project By default, once you already enter the Unreal Engine 5, you, the user interface, graphic user interface will look like look like this. So what you are going to do is click tool, sorry, click the window, make sure you take the place actor, and click the window again. Go to the content browser and make sure you take one of the content browser. And now you can see the content browser. The first step what you are going to do is click the content. And then, under the content here, you right click and create a new folder, name it as girl01, double enter so that you enter that folder, and drag in the girl01 Maya rig, drag in the FBX file, and wait for a while, now, Make sure you already take the skeleton mesh and import mesh. You click import all. Here you need to wait for a while. If you see the message lock, that means it already finished import. You just need to close it. Now what you are going to do is now you're already in your girl01 folder. You have the file that is called girl01 my skeleton. 
this skeletons is very important first you double click it and change the rig to become humanoid this is the first step next you are you are going to start retarget all of this rig the first one pelvis select the hip spine 0 1 select the spine the spine 0 2 select spine 1 and followed by spine 2 next one this is the left clavicle you choose left shoulder followed by left arm and then followed by left forearm and then the last one is left hand okay this one should be check again left shoulder followed by left arm and then followed by left forearm and then followed by left hand so you look at here, all, all the L are for left the next one is the clavicle R this is the right shoulder choose the right shoulder followed by right arm then followed by right forearm then followed by right hand next is the neck 0 1 next 0 1 you have to choose a neck the head you have to choose head the tight L you have to choose left up leg followed by left leg and then followed by left foot next the tight R you have to select right up leg followed by right leg then followed by right foot after finish it you can save this Save as bone mapping, Maya Rick. Once you save it, next time, when you have any of the avatar that ported from Maya, you can directly look, load it, then it will automatic plot as the same name. This is just a one time job. Alright, next, click save. It is compiling shader, you have to wait until it finishes. Close this. Back to the content folder and double click the mana queen. Go to the character, the mesh. Double click the skeleton. Here, select the rig, the rig retarget manager you have to select. Select the humanoid rig. And then save. Save and then close. Next step go back to the contents and double click the mana queen folder. You can see the animation folder is here. Right, the double click. You should be able to see a third person animation blueprint. You right click it, retarget animation blueprint, and the first one, duplicate animation blueprint and retarget. Here choose the girl 01 Maya rig. This is your skeleton. your skeletons. Then click retarget. Once you retarget it already, the first one is the third person animation blueprint. You right click it. Sorry. You click first and right click. Rename. You add an underscore at behind as girl01. This is very important, you must rename it. And next, go to the third person blueprint, double click the blueprint. You can see a third person character. 
you right click and duplicate you rename it and by adding an, an underscore behind and you name it girl01 enter double click it then you will open the third person character girl01 Click the mesh, click the viewport. The skeleton mesh, you select the girl 01 Maya rig. And the animation class here, you choose choose the one that you already re renamed that is third person animation blueprint underscore girl 01. Now you can see Tabata is ready to animate. It is really awesome, you just need to save, compile, save, then you can close it. Back to your content folder. Now, in order to make this girl become your, your game avatar, become the main avatar of the game, you have to click edit, project setting. And then click Maps and Modes, select Third Game Mode. You change the default pawn class. Select the, the per, select the third person character Girl Zero One. And then it automatic will save and then close it. Next, you must make sure you delete the mannequin. You press Delete button. To delete the mannequin from this map. Now you can try to play test. Press play. See this avatar is already. This girl already become become the the game main avatar in the game. Now you cannot see the body texture just because of it is still compiling the shader. Because of it is still compiling the shader, you have to wait until it go to 100% finish it. Then after that, when you play it, you should be able to see the full texture. So now we just wait for a while and have a look. I press escape first and wait for 100% here. Now you can see after it finished compiling all the shadows, you can see all the thumbnail icons here. At this moment when you click play, then she will become a full texture and she already become, become your main avatar in your game. Alright, that's all for today about how to how to export any avatar from iClone 7 and import into your Unreal Engine 5 as a main avatar or any of the NPC in the game. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animations and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you will receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video, enjoy, happy animation and game developing. See you!